Hello, today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 88, verse 133. <clears throat> now, the context of this verse, it's talking about the school of the prophets, which was an old thing established by Joseph Smith that people may, that people in the church may learn, might have learned of the gospel, and they did. And many revelations came to pass, so the school of prophets was in existence, including the word of wisdom. Covenants were made as well. It was a place for the people, the men of the priesthood, to learn and to grow and to prosper. And to become more like Christ, and better men, not only towards themselves, but towards others. Anyway, verse 133. Art thou a brother or brethren? I salute you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in token or remembrance of the everlasting covenant, in which covenant I receive you to fellowship, in a determination that is fixed, immovable, and unchangeable, to be your friend and brother through the grace of God, in the bonds of love, to walk in all the commandments of God blameless, in thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. All right. <clears throat> this could be Jesus Christ talking to us. Because he receives us unto fellowship in a determination that is fixed, immovable, and unchangeable. And he wishes to be our friend. He is already our brother. And by the grace of God, <clears throat> by the grace of God, and in the bonds of love, he sacrificed his own life, he freely gave up his own life, that we might be able to look beyond our imperfections, our limitations, and look at what we could do and be. And the everlasting covenant is the gospel of Jesus Christ and all things associated with it because this gospel does not die with man. It has been taken off the earth before. That's just because the earth wasn't ready for it. But now the, now the gospel will never be taken off the earth again. And Christ... Christ went through with his atonement with a determination that is above all. And he really wishes to be our friend. And whether we believe it or not, he is already our other brother. Because we are children of God and he loves us. And Christ is the Son of God. He loves us. And because of the atonement, we have opportunity to learn, explore, and embrace the everlasting covenant, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ and all things associated with it. And we have the opportunity to be received unto temporal and eternal fellowship within that gospel. We have opportunity to seek happiness through that fellowship. We have opportunity to gain that determination and help it help ourselves to be fixed, immovable and unchangeable in what we believe. And we have an opportunity to be a friend unto ourselves and to others. And we have we also have the opportunity to be God's friend and friends with Jesus Christ because God and Jesus Christ want to be our friend, our friends, and through the grace of God, we can learn to love ourselves and love others, and we can especially learn to love God and Jesus Christ, because in today's world, it is not easy to love oneself, let alone love others. And it's because of the atonement and the love that Jesus Christ 
showed us and continually shows us and I love that Heavenly Father showed us and shows us by making and sharing the plan of salvation with us. It's just amazing. They really want us to succeed. They really want us to have ample opportunity to use this life for preparing for the joy we will have in the next. Because this, this life is a proving ground. This is a preparing ground. And the covenants we make within the everlasting covenant, they help us prepare for the joy we can receive in the next life. And the covenants are eternal. They will never go away. Once we die, we will keep them forever so long as we honor them. And we're not perfect. I'll give you that, but that's what the atonement is about. If we're not perfect, we can we can lean on the atonement. And since nobody's perfect except for Christ, all of us can lean on the atonement. We can walk in the commandments of God and someday be held blameless. Because of the atonement, we can be we can endeavor to be as good as we can be and the atonement is there to help us because nobody is perfect right now even when they make covenants they are not perfect but the atonement will show us how to become perfect and for it we should be grateful because without the atonement we wouldn't be able to make any covenants at all because we'd be too imperfect but it's because of the Lord Jesus Christ and Heavenly Father their efforts to open the way that we can make covenants within the everlasting covenant that we might not only find joy in this life but also in the next and forever and ever and with that said, I love you all so very much. I share these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.